Welcome one and all, this is the Peace Dealer, and I am very excited to do this video. Um, somebody had requested this specifically. Let me see if I could even pull up his name. Uh, but he, he asked me if I can make a video about Donald Trump, and it's a video that I've actually thought about doing. I just never got around to it. And shoot, you know, the elections are almost here. I was thinking about doing Hillary but and, and making it a two-part video, but... Tonight, we've reached a milestone in our nation's march toward a more perfect union. The first time that a major party has nominated a woman for president. She's boring. I'm going to just be honest. Uh, if y'all want me, if y'all want me to break down Hillary, we could do that too. Let me know in the comment section, but I have to break down Donald Trump. His chart is nothing short of fascinating and amazing. And that's not to knock Hillary's chart. She has a dope chart too. Uh, but this is very revealing. And I think it's important to break this down. A lot of people get so caught up. But the most important thing to understanding the significance of a person like Donald Trump running for president and of the timing that it's happening when a woman is running for president, <laughs> um, you have to keep the transits in, in, uh, in, 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 uh, in mind because remember, what is ultimately happening still? Uranus in Aries is still squaring Pluto in Capricorn. And this huge dilemma about bullshit in our government being exposed and uncovered has to be dealt with. This is still an uncurrent of that. Most important thing. So many people are too focused on the election. They're too critical. They're too focused on the surface level of things. The Hillary versus the Trump. And they don't realize it's way, it's, it's way too much bigger than that. It's way too much bigger. You're focused on who's going to get elected for president. And the real major players are focused on what's happening with this nuclear war. Is Russia really going to start messing with North Korea? Are we going to have another Cold War? Stupid shit. But let me let you let me let you keep this in mind because we're talking about once again this crazy genius Donald Trump. Who is Uma married to? One of the great sleaze bags of our time. Anthony Weiner. Did you know that? She's married to Anthony Weiner. You know the little bing 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 bum bum. I love you very much. And when I call him a genius, I'm not trying to say that out of bias towards him. This man literally has Uranus on his son and North Node. So we, if you think that when Donald Trump loses this election, it's over for him, you guys don't understand. This is only beginning. The man has his Jupiter return in the second house, and the North Node is literally about to finish transiting his first. This man was destined to run for president. He has the North Node in the 10th house of the world, where politics is ripe. And you also want to keep in mind, politics is an affinity of Libra. This man literally has luck in politics. And do I really have to prove it to you guys? This is somebody who literally says whatever he wants and for some reason has gained so much support. And I will break down why. It's very clear. It's very clear. It's very easy and obvious to understand. But I think, I think what's very important to understand is that Geminis are a special kind, especially as you can tell, this, this, and this, this particular Gemini. I'm a very militaristic person, but you have to know when to use the military. I am the only person up here that fought against going into Iraq. You, now, can I, can now, I make a response to just that? excuse me, one second, Randy, you don't mind, to Randy. That? You know, you are on less, you, you do have your 1%. When you think of elections, like I said, a lot of you are very focused on the average person when it comes to politics is only focused on which side won the election and then not even like two weeks after you know i was going to say six weeks but not even like two weeks after they don't even care about the elections let's be honest a majority of you people watching this video right now after november 8th you are not going to be talking about politics next year you are not going to be talking about politics that much let's say january of next year you're, you're you're going to be focused on the next big trending thing 
I'm guilty of this too. So I'm not trying to single you out, but there's more that than it that goes to it. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's the lobbyists who are getting paid because now this candidate has gotten into office and now they can, you know, certain corporate interests could be fulfilled. And I'm not saying that as a bad thing too. like, this shouldn't happen. This is just how it works. <laughs> like anyone who knows like this structure, that was this just routine. You know what I'm saying? There's also the Congress that now has to face a heavy battle. These are, these are that's all these things that are really coming in to, um, effect when you think about these elections in particular and since this is talking about donald trump what's one other thing that's very peculiar about donald trump's rise can you think about how everything donald trump is doing is something that no president is supposed to do think about any president who always has to put on that mask and say diplomatic stuff donald trump is not doing that we can't sell beef it's peanuts and by the way, unbelievable people are coming. A lot of people that are illegal are great people. Just let's get it straight. They don't want to give it straight because the press are liars. They're terrible people. But he's he's not only like close to winning. You know, he won the Republican primary. Why is that? That is the power of the North Node. So any one of you watching uh, who has sun on the North Node or sun on the South Node, you now have huge understanding like destiny when you live your destiny it doesn't matter what you do like you will have your way so there's some astrologers out there like the leo king who say donald trump is gonna win okay given also hillary clinton's seemingly failing health i wouldn't say it's failing but then also you know certain petty scandals that, that i will say it right now um I had predicted this to Donald, Donald Trump has a Trump card. <laughs> no pun intended. Hillary has a Trump card. That whole um, recording with Donald Trump, that's so old. All right. It's not like they just found that. So the fact that they just released that now, <laughs> very revealing, isn't it? Hey, when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. <laughs> Whatever you want. Grab him by the pussy. <laughs> I can do anything. But nonetheless you know what i'm saying they their their team has more trump cards to for slander and i feel the republican side has some of theirs but literally anything can happen i i'm gonna go with my left brain my right brain intuitively wants to say he could really pull this off because i'm seeing on the grassroots there's a lot of people who are kind of warm, not warming up to him but you know wanting to vote i don't know i personally think hillary is going to win this and what i'm trying to tell you guys though is it does not matter who wins or loses all right some of you could even say that trump is only there to make sure hillary wins because in a great archetypal um outside of of whether they're planning this or not i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna pull that conspiracy card but you know you have to think of how archetypal this is who is Hillary is supposed to represent, of course, the woman who finally ascends into being able to be a president. And why is it that she's going against not just a man, but the most chauvinistic, seemingly, you know, boisterous man? This is super symbolic and stuff like that isn't just random. And you want to keep this in mind because Venus is going to go retrograde at Aries and issues of femininity getting repressed with over masculinity is going to be very, very, very much brought up. And we're talking about like April of next year. So I'm sorry. I didn't really plan to make this intro that long. These are things you want to think about. A Gemini just needs to run a campaign speech. Let me say that again. They just need to do a campaign run. They don't have to win the election. If Donald Trump loses this election, Donald Trump knows who his supporters are. There are people who will rock with Trump the whole term of Hillary's term and wait till he runs again. Donald Trump, like I was trying to say, is the only Republican candidate I can think of that had the whole party he represents turn against him. RNC Chairman Reince Priebus was touting party unity when he appeared with Donald Trump at a rally in Pennsylvania on Friday, but it's clear the Republican presidential nominee remains a divisive figure for many in the GOP. Tomorrow, a letter signed by at least 70 key Republicans will be delivered to Priebus urging him and the RNC 
to stop spending money on Trump and shift funds to vulnerable congressional races instead. Nobody in the Republican Party really messes with Trump. And yet he's still kind of been able to turn that around and get people who swore they would never vote for him finally endorse him. This is all to do with this Jupiter return he's having in a second. Like, dude is already rich. Like, he's about to get even more rich. Like, it's not even fair. And this 11th house placement is what gives him all that affluence. But we have to pay attention to this North Node and the Uranus. Y'all, y'all need to understand. Of course, the Sagittarius mood, as we'll get to. But the, uh, I hate that I made this a ten-minute intro. But that's the first thing I need you to understand. Gemini's just need to run for president. That's it. Like Kanye West is gonna do this twenty twenty, and y'all might be saying, "Oh, well, he's not gonna win." You guys don't understand. It's not about us winning or losing. It's about what we say while we tour and campaign. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? The damage is done. The damage is done. Especially with someone, a whistleblower like Donald Trump, if he gets in office, he's going to be exposing so much. And once again, I'm not saying this to try and sway you to like him. I'm saying this objectively, like this is what this man's going to do. I'm not saying it's going to be good or bad for a country. Um, I think there's certain things that shouldn't be revealed. He's not that type of person. He has his Mars in the 12th house. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like there's so much, there's so much. And Congress knows this. Um, I, there, there, there's, there's a huge opposition um, even within the government for, for someone like this man to be elected because he says whatever he wants. They spent, listen to this, $1 million on ads against me in Iowa. Now, here's the good news. They use the best pictures. I look so good in those pictures. I'm trying to find where they got them because they're stupid. He literally says whatever he wants. But let's get a little bit more technical into this chart. I've been rambling. First thing I want you to understand about Donald Trump in this election that I will reiterate is that it does not matter if he wins or loses. If you really want to understand this, check the progress of his campaign even after the election. This is a man who could easily rerun again and have even more development based on how good or bad Hillary's uh, campaign is if or, or presidency is. It, it, that's, that's not even saying if she wins or loses because... Like I said, Trump could win, which for some of you could be very frightening. <laughs> but yeah, um, Donald Trump is a 10th house son. So obviously this is someone who is destined to be in the public eye. Destined, of course, because of the North Node. But the way in which he does it is revolutionary. And of course, he has no filter. My moon is in Capricorn. So all the stuff Donald Trump says so liberally, you know, it, it's usually the mind of a Gemini. We like to say the ratchet, ratchet, you know, savage stuff that people think. But I have a moon in Capricorn. So my Capricorn is going to be like, uh, no, we're going to be a bit more reserved and I don't know, mature <laughs> about what we say. We're going to think about what we say before we think, say it. Donald Trump don't care. He is a savage. He is a, sorry, not a savage, Sagittarius moon and Sagittarius moon moons are savage all right now technically he isn't savage because what he's doing is what he is in his nature to do he is an open filter all that energy is pure masculine so as he thinks it he's expressing it the reason why it captivates people is simply just because of the leo and the sagittarius if you really listen to what he's saying there's not really much that he's saying in depth as is the case of Gemini. We like to keep things on the surface, but it can captivate people. And guess what happens to Anthony Weiner? A month ago, I see he went to work for a public relations firm. Do you believe it? Now, if you think that Uma isn't telling Anthony, who she's probably desperately in love with, in all fairness to Anthony, because why else would she marry this guy? Can you believe it? And you have to understand, Donald Trump is speaking for a majority of the nation that doesn't even really care. <laughs> like they they don't they just want their interests met. And you could say the same thing for the Democratic side. It, it, at the end of the day, people just want it, it's it's a conflict of interest. But Donald Trump is speaking for a majority of people who really feel like, wow, this is someone 
who can't be bought by corporations. And I think it's funny because that's not necessarily true. But he's speaking <laughs> he's speaking for a lot of people who feel like that fresh breath of honesty, all right, because who is he going against? He's going against Hillary with the Pisces moon and the Scorpio stellium. So there's just a whole lot that's hidden and you can tell because of the past record. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? It's quite funny. Hillary is also the Scorpio and Pisces. So in my opinion, this isn't a Hillary video, but I don't really think Hillary has really done much to deserve the criticism she's getting. I'm not saying she's a good candidate because uh, I would I personally wouldn't vote for her either, just like I would have vote for Trump. But it's so interesting to see the karmic energy of that sign. The only reason why she's getting the criticism she is is because she's a Scorpio with a Pisces moon. That's why the whole country is giving her shit because of emails, <laughs> which is not that serious and deep. And like I said, I don't want to go more into actual factual stuff that Hillary Clinton should be held accountable for because that will be her own video. But, you know, it's just kind of interesting to see like Donald Trump could get away with saying he'll grab women by the pussy uh, in a video that was like years ago <laughs> and still not really lose any momentum for the presidency. I'm sorry. Like as a Gemini, that's some gangster shit. That's some gangster shit just to be able to say whatever you want, but because it's your destiny, like, and when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything, whatever you want, grab them by the pussy. <laughs> I can do anything. Oh my gosh, like, it's happening in front of us, and it's trining Jupiter in the second house. Now, I want to, I want to track back, like I said, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to honor this man. I'm not trying to honor, because a lot of what he says is offensive, so I'm not trying to honor what he's saying. I'm just saying, I deeply respect the, the, the fact that it could happen. If you kind of look at this as a fly on the wall, and you're looking at the civilization you know what I'm saying? And you're looking down at how people are reacting to this. What this man is doing, it's which is not just him. This is just a symptom of what what like what I was saying, the the Uranus and Aries and the Pluto and Capricorn. Now the reason why I love that this man is so vulgar and so offensive is that it's forcing people to take these stuff things like this more serious. It's forcing people to get more active politically. It's forcing people to actually care about who gets in office, because if they don't care, then their interests could be very conflicted. Um, it's not the best way to get people to care, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but it's definitely fascinating just to see just how things like this could even happen right now. But um, like I'm saying, uh, sorry, like I was saying, uh, to go further into Donald Trump's chart, he has Venus and Saturn and Mercury in the 11. So this is what makes him a powerful orator that can evoke to people's feelings. That's why I'm saying like he doesn't really even have to say things that make sense because he's going to talk and connect with you emotionally. Like a chess player, grandmaster playing against a checkers child. No, that's what it is. We give them, think of it, a nuclear scientist, and they won't give us our hostages back. It's so, it's so insane. And I've noticed people who actually go to his rallies, they're very easily swayed because he's able to, they're able to gain a different experience than what they see on the news. And because there's a lot of spin doctoring going on that, that kind of makes people look bad instead of just taking things at face value, that helps Trump all the stuff they do in the media to kind of make him look like he's some dumb tyrant. It actually helps him because then people go see him in person and they're like, wow, like I still don't really agree with him or people, obviously people who agree with him, but they, they ride off of that. Okay. Once again, I'm not endorsing Trump. I, I would not vote for this man. I would not vote for Hillary. I don't, I don't believe in the political system though. That's why I would vote that that's a different video, but I'm fascinated with how this energy is playing out. 
Um, I'm not giving him credit for the way the energy works. He has the North Node on his son, so he's just along for the ride. I'm fascinated with how the energy works, the the, the Uranus square, Aries square, and how his energy fits in that, how Hillary's energy fits in that. I think this uh, election period is going to be a great reference to uh, understand astrology at a greater period. But yeah, like I said, he has that uh, planet bunch in a, a cancer which is also since it's squared with the libra in the second house of course connections with people in in the right places that's what kind of garners a lot of the wealth for him although i wouldn't sleep on that pluto and mars in the 12th house this is where uh certain scandals sexually will come from Mars in the 12th house usually has to deal with that, especially at a public level. Will it ever really affect him? I don't know. Please keep in mind, he has his parts of fortune as well at the tail end of Aquarius near the seventh house in the sixth. Another indicator of wealth. Um, yeah, that Sag Moon is in his fourth for my World War Zero junkies. He is uh, actually a double agent for the dark side so he he uses the light for the dark something to keep in mind okay um this is definitely someone who knows how to say what you want to hear uh but you know and then he has connections with very powerful people with the jupiter libra uh but yeah with the uranus there that is definitely very dangerous his Mars is in Leo, like I said. So this is why, oh, you know, with Pluto, like this is why this man does not give a damn about, you know, bombing the shit out of anyone who gets in his way. They said, Trump doesn't have a plan for ISIS. I said, no, I have a plan, but I don't want to tell ISIS what it is. Because I'm mean, I win. I had to. I said to my wife, I said, you know, I got to tell them about this plan. I'm going to have no choice because otherwise I'm not going to win. People are thinking like I don't have a plan. I hate doing it. So I'm on one of the shows and I said, look, ISIS is making a tremendous amount of money because they have certain oil camps, right? They have certain areas of oil that they took away. They have some in Syria, some in Iraq. I would bomb the shit out of them. Um. There's so much more I would like to say, but I think this is enough. I might make a part two of this. Um, if y'all have any questions, you can ask them in the comments. That Sagittarius moon is the most important part of his chart. This is what is going to make him a live wire and just spread out the mouth and just say things that you know how Sagittarius moons are. I don't want to make this exclusive to Trump. It's surprising to people, but any astrologer knows he's just a Sag moon. Like, listen to any Sag moon. They sound like Trump sometimes. <laughs> like, they just say things and they know how to, <laughs> they know how to say things that people are already thinking and he's engaging people on that level. And the media, look at all those people back there. Scavengers. They're like scavengers. All right. Um, it's just that he says it in an offensive way. And he knows how to rub people off the wrong way instead of the diplomatic people who also say what you want to hear and engage uh, you so that they could use you in a certain way, too. But, I mean, it's all politics at the end of the day, regardless of who you vote for. Um, I would invite you to be a actually active in your local elections. It's going to be a Congress war, whoever wins this. And uh, it's going to get very ugly because not only are we having um, Saturn get closer to Capricorn, uh, but and, and Uranus is getting tighter in Aries. But, you know, Jupiter will soon go into Scorpio. That's just one reason why I feel like it may just go to Hillary because uh, the election is happening during her season, which is really good look. And uh, Jupiter will soon be in her sign. So it would be exciting for Hillary Clinton to win the election with her getting a Jupiter um, on her son while she's doing her first year of the term. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It will also work out well for Trump, though, if he did, because he's having his Jupiter return. So either way, uh, it is what it is. 
uh, either way, w- regardless of who gets elected, we may have to go to war because <laughs> one person is just going to be bomb trigger happy. But even the one who's bomb happy is uh, advising Hillary not to go to war with Syria. And Hillary is just down to go to war because or or to um, send troops uh, for a no fly zone. But like I said, that, that might be more for her video. Um, yeah, y'all. I would be very mindful of what this man does after this election, whether he wins or not, as far as his campaign, because the greatest thing he has gained is a fan base now. And that is with this 11th house and Pluto is here and he's got them hooked. Okay. Trump has Trump has, as any good Gemini does, has stirred the hearts of people. Um, not really the most logically so. And, um, yeah, I'm a little bit speechless because (sighs) I just like to say as a child of destiny and anyone else who has their son on the North node, it doesn't matter if you win or lose you, you won already. I I want I want you to firmly like drill that in your heads and then he has a Taurus MC I forgot to mention so anyone with Taurus MCs are like just filthy rich but yeah this is somebody who um is destined to do what he's doing and I can totally see why like just look at how it's revolutionized how people kind of communicate on television and I'm and that's not really a good thing <laughs> I'm not saying that his destiny is a good thing by any means like I said as my World War Zero junkies he's doing this for the dark <laughs> so that's another story that that might have to be the part two where I break down the World War Zero stuff I just don't want to make this video too long and uh until next time one and all peace oh Don you're a little controversial you're talking about illegal immigration I said it's illegal that there are uh, for immigrants on the whole create are cre- come on try getting it out try getting it out I'll get it out I mean I don't know if you're going to put this on television but you don't even know what you're talking about try getting it out.